So welcome to this week's weekly update at TDF. And one of the biggest topics that you have probably already heard about is that we've launched a campaign on supporting and securing your spot as a member at TDF. And the video is something that we're gonna, of course, also attach to this weekly update. And our call really is to find 300 subscribers paying 10 euros per month in order to make next year TDF a reality. This is a traditional dream factory. In just three years, we built a prototype for a thriving regenerative village. From planting 3,000 trees to cultivating a vibrant food forest, from establishing an industrial kitchen that brings farm fresh veggies straight to our plates, and to constructing a state of the art helophyte system that's treating all of the grey waters from our showers in our kitchen and sends it to our reforestation project. And with glamping tents, able to host 50 people, we have laid the foundation for a regenerative future, blending nature and community. But we need your support. With a collective strength of just 300 supporters contributing 10 euros per month, we can reopen 2024 for the next iteration of TDF. Why does TDF exist? Over the last century, real estate development and modern farming practices have limited our capacity to inhabit the planet. TDF is here to create a positive impact for a regenerative way of life. We're creating thriving human habitats that restore local ecosystems. We're using digital tools and emerging technology to create a resilient and thriving economy. So what is TDF? TDF is a blueprint for creating a climate resilient, regenerative village. TDF is a community of doers and dreamers, makers of tomorrow, entrepreneurs, creators, crypto nerds, artists, regenerators, farmers, engineers, creating a regenerative future. Join us, become a subscriber and get access to weekly educational material where we teach you all of the things that we have learned from three years of building this prototype. Where do we stand with TDF today? TDF has been experimenting for three years on how to operate a thriving co-living space, creating a regenerative farm that produces food for people who reinvest that energy into our initiatives. We have planted a food forest, built our industrial kitchen, created a co-working space for 25 people, built our own grey water filter system, hosted more than 2,000 visitors and 30 events, created transparent and decentralised governance alternatives. We've also built a sauna, a treehouse, solar system and a cinema. The past three years are just the beginning. We have fully approved architectural plans to develop a co-living space that includes 14 suites, 4 studios, a house, a makerspace, an industrial kitchen, a biomorphic co-working garden, a wellness area and a natural pool. We have close ties with the local authorities who are fully supportive of our project. The co-living is part of a 25 hectare property for which we already have plans to develop a water retention landscapes with two lakes to create the water sovereignty that we need for the future. We have plans to create an orchard with 10,000 fruit trees that will produce around 200,000 euros revenue. We have 10,000 square meters urbanizable on our expansion lands to build a co-housing development, part of the town of Abella. By joining us on this journey and subscribing as a wanderer, you will get weekly educational material on how we're building TDF, a free copy of the book How to Build a Regenerative Village, priority access to our co-living facilities and events, access to community and our expansive network of regenerators. We need 300 supporters contributing 10 euros per month to help us build this dream into a reality and to help us continue prototyping this regenerative way of life.
with the campaign, we can already see quite a bit of traction. We now have 890 registered users on the website, which is up more than 50 people. And we also have currently 52 Wanderers and three Pioneers, which makes it 55 paying subscribers. But still, there's a lot of room for more people like you to subscribe, become a Wanderer, take all the perks and become one of the dreamers that we are securing for next year, 2024, and making TDF reality. We also have a full house at TDF already again. We have a Cabin Dao event that's running and Sam will give you a few more details on that. We will hear quite a bit about the reforestation project and where we stand with that. And of course, like always, we will have a few shots from all the different domains on the land so that you see what's happening. Thank you, Ismail. Um, so yeah, we have been uh, we started a cooperation with uh, Cabin Dao about a year ago. I think we started talking with them. Basically, Cabin Dao is one of the only handful of land-based DAOs around the world. Um, you can describe it as a network state. In fact, they just participated in the network state event, which was held in Amsterdam last weekend, uh, where Cabin gave an extensive presentation of the network. And Cabin just launched their city directory a few months ago, and TDF is one of their top neighborhoods. Um, meaning that it is one of the outposts where cabin members are able to come and spend time. And this week we're hosting a cabin week, which means that we have 14 people who want to be part of the cabin network who co come here to discover what cabin is about and also, of course, discover TDF. And it's been really good to see the mix of people coming here who have the interest of potentially network states, cabin DAO, all this kind of technology side, and also who have heard about TDF, who want to participate in the regenerative movement. Uh, so it really feels like we're at the crossroad of this technological and regenerative movement. How many trees are we planting with cabin? With cabin, we are going to plant about 200 trees and shrubs. Yeah. Nice. So how many species of trees are we going to have in this food forest, uh, in this forest? In this forest, generate? right now on our list, I believe it's about 35 different species of trees and shrubs. Um, half that, and that's the amount of tree that we have here. So, one update from the week as well is that these little monsters <laughs> found a new home in Lisbon. They're going to be moving after Christmas, sadly. Uh, so we're going to be left just with Bolota, our good old cat, Non B, the pregnant wild cat who came and gave us all of these little tigers, and uh, one more wildling that will probably be staying with us, who is starting to be more and more tame. So. We now are down to three cats again. And all of them have an appointment to be sterilized next Monday so that we do not continue spreading cats around the world because we want to keep some birds as well, even though we love the little tigers. So tell us what's in the hole, Luca. So there's a hole in the ground there to manage and clean the, um, the dry shit pit. And but every hole in the ground it completes water when it rains so we just dug this ditch and put a drainage pipe with holes every five centimeters and now we're covering again to make a ramp there awesome <laughs>